People think Iowa's an ag state, and it is, but proportionately, as you talk about the state's gross domestic product, it's really a manufacturing state. Well, Iowa has a very heavy emphasis on advanced manufacturing. Uh, the community colleges train over 60% of all the jobs in Iowa, including in the manufacturing sector. Uh, there's a tremendous demand for these workers, and they are very good jobs with great benefits. The biggest employment challenge in Iowa right now, and has been this way for the past few years, is in the middle skills arena. We're just not seeing candidates that are going to be available for the number of jobs that are projected to be out there. Transformative change is not something that's easy. It's something that takes a great deal of effort and time and motivation and willingness to get your hands dirty and do the work. If you put a group of Iowans in a room, they're gonna come up with great ideas and they're all gonna to wanna to achieve the goal and ideas they come up with. The IM grant is actually the Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Consortium grant. And it is an initiative made up of all 15 community college districts in the state of Iowa. The purpose of this grant is to be able to arm Iowans with the skills they need to engage in Iowa's workforce. And by engaging in Iowa's workforce, they're going to grow our state's economy. Community colleges have really want to educate and train workers in Iowa, but they lack capacity. And one of the things that the IM grant did is it provided them a, a very unique opportunity to build capacity uh, provide statewide curriculum and, and equipment. It's the very first time ever that all of Iowa's community college joined together in one single grant. We've got a lot of individuals in Iowa that want to do better. I mean, they're, they work hard, work ethic has never been an issue, uh, they're smart, uh, so it's just a matter of giving them the tools. So it, this is kind of the, the perfect storm of good things happening and lining up so that we can meet all of Iowa's needs. So it's an opportunity for us to build programming that's accessible to people that are either unemployed or working in a job that they've come to realize isn't providing them the income or the or the satisfaction that they need. So this, this allows a pathway for somebody who isn't currently in an education system to come in here and identify something that, that they enjoy and, and uh, can identify with a career that will, will yield some results for them and their family as they move forward. And to be able to accomplish this, we had three main priorities of this initiative. The first priority of this initiative was to update and align curriculum and content so that it not only met the needs of local employers, but it also met those industry and national standards. We worked on credit programming as well as non-credit short-term programs across the state. We worked in seven areas of advanced manufacturing. The primary area was welding and welding technician training. We worked in industrial maintenance, in tool and die and CNC machining. We have worked in industrial automation programs. We have some robotics programs and other initiatives that make up that advanced manufacturing sphere. We partnered with the Iowa Association of Business and Industry so that we would not only have that short-term impact, but be able to have that longer-term impact and that reach into future generations, looking at that K-12 audience. And we also were very sure, um, through our partnership with them, to reach out to those influencers, parents, counselors, and other people in those students' lives who may help them make a decision. The second was to build a pipeline and build that skilled workforce. So we did that through many things where we collaborated with our partners such as ABI. When the community colleges were thinking about applying for the IM grant, they came to some key partners. We were one of those and asked for our support. We were really glad to support the IM grant application. Very excited when the community colleges were selected to receive the grant. So we have been in on the ground floor and we see that it's made a real difference here. As a citizen of Iowa and also as an individual who works very closely within the institution but also with external partners, I couldn't be more proud how we came together as partners to shape this initiative, how we've successfully implemented it and maintained our commitment to it and have worked together for a common goal. The last thing that we did was to make sure that we were building those relationships between workforce and other state governmental agencies, the educational sector and private businesses so that we could all come together to be able to solve this problem of employers finding the, the right people for the roles that they have. One of the great things with the IM grant is that we were able to create this incredible partnership that we call Elevate. Elevate was really something we came up with uh, that is along the lines of let's raise all boats. You know, let's help the whole state uh, succeed. Let's help raise the economic status of the whole state. 
And it also talks about the way advanced manufacturing is elevating and always, always getting better and always advancing. And so uh, there are a couple of meanings to that word, but for us what it means is getting Iowans the training they need, identifying jobs that are out there right now and then getting them placed in those jobs so that they can have a great career, provide for their family, help their communities grow. Really it's about changing the image. Not that it's a dirty, dingy, cold working environment. It is a, an environment that you can eat off the floor, that the technology is above superior, that there's robots moving heavy equipment to do the ergonomics. I've always said this many times in my career, Iowa's not just a nice place to be from. So we look at it and, and we're trying to make sure people understand what we've got here. You don't have to leave Iowa to find these kinds of jobs. One of the great things that's come out of IM is that uh, career pathways. We have found ways to support students who might not have otherwise made it. There are students who come to us that may be homeless. They may have childcare needs. They may have other needs that we may be able to meet here with our community college resources, but those pathway navigators can also connect them to community resources that allow them to overcome those barriers and persist along to completion of a program of study as they then go into employment. Life is complicated. Deciding careers is complicated. Getting through an academic system is complicated for everyone. Navigators allow us to provide that kind of specialized support to individuals to keep them on the rail as they get through the process. The important thing is they will do the work. If the individual can do the work, we should be able to handle some of the complexities and all the noise and chatter in the system. Over the last couple of years, we've hired two people out of the program. It's gone great. Um, they really exceeded our expectations. I was the first person uh, in the program to go through the program and actually land a job in a seat. To um, hear, hear that I got the job was very exciting, and obviously um, not only because of the moment, but also because of what the future would hold. My job's really versatile. I get to be a jack of all trades. There's always something different every day, always something new. If something needs to be done, implemented, I'll find a way to do it. Where else are you going to go and make fifty plus thousand dollars a year, you know, and a two-year degree? Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. If it weren't for the IM grant and the other programs that are a part of that partnership like Elevate, the state would be much worse off. We're lucky to have it. Iowa has made its mark in advanced manufacturing and I'm so proud that I can go and I can stand up and I can say very loudly, Iowa is doing the right thing and Iowa is making a difference.